When severe weather is about to strike, we all want up-to-the-minute information. But the radar network called NEXRAD, the meteorologists depend on, has its limits. The biggest drawback? The equipment is typically spaced 100, even 200 miles apart. You have a radar here and the beam goes out. But as it gets further and further away from the radar, you can see that there's this gap here because the earth curves away from the beam. And a lot of tornadoes actually happen in that gap. And that's one of the reasons why the false alarm rate for tornadoes is almost 75% right now. The orange color is like 90 mile an hour winds. And then the With support from the National Science Foundation, Brenda Phillips co-directs CASA, the Center for Collaborative Adaptive Sensing of the Atmosphere. Engineers and scientists have developed and implemented a new generation of smaller, highly capable radar systems designed to be spaced much closer together. The improvement is easy to see. So right here, this is the CASA data, and you can see basically it's this image right here is the, is the tornado that's happening. And when you see the picture here in next red, you know that the tornado is happening, but you really just can't tell precisely where it's occurring. From tornadoes to flash floods, the cities of Dallas and Fort Worth face more than their fair share of dangerous weather. So when the CASA team was looking for an urban area to test its system at the neighborhood level, the Metroplex was a good fit. When we have events, we try to turn those around and produce case studies where we can try to learn from what the CASA data showed us. With smartphone technology and GPS, we can give you the information where you are now so that you can make the right decisions to protect yourselves and as well as your family members. More accurate, localized forecasts can save businesses money as well as protect lives. The mayor of Midlothian, south of Dallas-Fort Worth, was happy to get his small town in on Casa. There's now a radar right at the police station. Well, they're getting protection from adverse weather, not unless tornadoes, but Ice, Casa will give us ice, it will give us rain, it will give us all the major products that, that affect a city or a community or a region from a weather standpoint. Having the data, having an emergency manager or forecaster start to analyze it and see the benefits of it and translate that into something that could be life-saving, I think that's, that's the real um, excitement. Smaller, smarter radars able to track dangerous weather street to street. That's the kind of early warning system I want protecting Mikasa. For Science Nation, I'm Miles O'Brien.